All right, welcome back to the Rush Hour Podcast, the 15 minute podcast where we talk about various Yu Gi Oh topics. And today we're going to be talking about advanced Edison format, very controversial topic. Basically, if you don't know what that means, every single thing from advanced format, the way uh, not only just time, which we already go by in Edison format, we already go by time rules that are modern, but the person who goes first does not draw a card. So if you go first, you only have five instead of six. Uh, there's no ignition priority. That means that when you summon Substitute or Judgment Dragon or Dark Arm Dragon or Bryonic, you can't just go, I'm activating the effect. And if you're to change bottomless potential the effect will still go through so that goes away as well and all of the cards have their erratas so this is a huge one but basically things like Ryko, which is a big change Ryko doesn't target an advanced format like an, it, the errata for it doesn't target it also can't be negated by stardust because it's not guaranteed that it's going to destroy anything until resolution at which point stardust can't negate something at resolution uh there's a lot of other things brain control can't take a monster from the extra deck because it can only take monsters that can be normal oh, summoned Jesus. yeah it says that it can only be used on monsters that can be normal summoned so you can never take an extra deck monster you can never take dark arm dragon you can never take judgment dragon there is a lot there's rescue cat the monster's effects are negated so arabellum if you get double Arabellum, they don't actually snatch cards out the hand. Brionic is once per turn and it can only be used on your opponent's cards. And Future Fusion doesn't send immediately. It oh, sends yeah. after the first stamina phase and on the second stamina phase it summons. It's all it's a lot of changes. It would be a different format, basically. So Sizzle, I'm just gonna start off with you. How do you feel about the idea of advanced Edison format? It, it's really a completely different game. The more I think about it, the more I like the more in the more card changes I realize. Like you just mentioned the brain control, I don't even know about that one. The more I feel like it's just a completely different game. I do think, like, from a competitive standpoint, it probably is better because, you know, going first and not drawing is the biggest thing. Yeah, that so would change that, a lot. It would change a lot, yeah. And I do think that is a good thing. Like, Dushu gets inherently nerfed because of that, too. Yeah, Whirlwind is inherently worse because if you go first the open Whirlwind, now you just have six cards as opposed to seven. So you just match the person who went second as opposed to, like, having a plus one on them. You're just like, okay, we both have six now. And that's your best yeah, opening, too. And you have less chance of drawing that that combination with only five cards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, so from a competitive standpoint, I think it's fine. But, and, but everyone already knows how to play Edison. Like anyone who cares about Edison already knows how to play, like, yep. you know, from back then. Really, it's only for, I think the biggest positive for it is Master Duel. Yeah. That's the that one is, thing that Joe Orlando brought up. And I, I agree that if they do force this on us, which I don't even know. This is a rumor still, guys. So, like, don't get up in arms about it, honestly. Like, a lot of people are getting really twisted about it, and I just think that, like, Konami has not even mentioned that they're doing this. But if they did do it, one of the big benefits is that it would be in Master Duel, or it could be a Master Duel, because, yeah, it could be a Master Duel once. They're not going to put actual Edison format in Master Duel ever. They're never coding old rules that are basically just, like, made up from Pojo and shit like that. Because that's how, if you don't know, a lot of Edison rulings just come from, oh, on Pojo or on Duelist Grounds or on this old forum, there was this one post that said rivalry and goes and work like this. And that's what we're going off. And there's this one post that said consecrated like work like that. That's literally where the rulings come from for Edison format right now, which is actually and obviously not the best way to do rulings. Like it's just not. Problem solving card text and the consistency that modern format has with rulings, at the very least, it is consistent. And that is something that I do yearn for a little bit with Edison format. Like there's a lot of things that are just, oh, because Konami said so. So it could be a master duel. I think master duel would be phenomenal. It would bring in literally millions of people. Master duel gets yep. millions of users. If you don't know that, like master duel is huge. Like it's yeah. it's one of their biggest money makers, and it would bring in actual thousands to millions of people into the format. It would not shrink Edison overall. It would actually make Edison bigger, at least online. Yeah, which would inherently make it bigger, like you know IRL. Um, but yeah, so it would be bigger, and I and I guess the other benefit is there'd be less bad rulings because you don't need Edison specific judges, I guess. But I feel like that's not very hard to get over yeah That's pretty easy, so far it hasn't been that much of a problem i know that at the first ultimate time wizard last year we had all kinds of wild rules sirocco doesn't go down like the pump just stays and stuff like that absolute zero activates face down there was a lot of weird ones but they didn't affect anyone in the top eight uh and i don't know if anyone like got really screwed over by any of those i just heard stories about like oh this is what the judge said i don't know if that actually was like my tournament ended because i wing blast a face down absolute zero and the judge said it activated or something like that like i don't know if most that's... recent nats uh shouts to ichigo kurosaki's is like a uh, user but he got basically his stardust or his opponent had an oppression face up and his opponent stardust negated something and then when his opponent stardust tried to come back he's like i'm gonna use your oppression to negate stardust and then the judge and head judge ruled that stardust doesn't say once per turn so it just that's like happened you. in Austin, Texas this year. Uh yeah. That sucks. I, yeah, that's damn, horrible. Yeah, judge said that too. That's yeah, that's horrible. So 
Yeah, the ruling thing. See, that's unpleasant, obviously. There are some benefits. Here's the way I feel about it, just to give like my take, because I, I agree with what you said too. I think there are pros and cons to advanced Edison format. I like some of the things. I don't like all the things. I think the erratas is too much, actually. Yeah, I you think can't. I, yeah. Dude, Goyo Guardian is ass. Yeah, for people who don't know, Goyo Guardian requires an Earth Tuner now. So, like, Black Wings get nerfed severely because Blizzard can no longer make Goyo Guardian at all. And Brionic is like a, it's just not as broken as it is right now. Like, it will still be good. Brionic will still be good. But the fact that you can't bounce your own cards is huge because I actually, when I play Black Wings, like, that comes up for me often. I did it in my last top video where I bounced it and I had Gores in my hand. I bounced my Whirlwind to my hand and I passed my, to my opponent and like he attacked into my Gores and lost. So that type of thing comes up. Obviously, also the stuff that Dragon Turbo does when they keep on setting cards and bouncing them one by one to make Super Rejuvenation Live. Like that's not possible anymore. But yeah, Goyo Guardian is super nerfed. I don't like the Erratas. The idea of the Erratas, I think, is too much. I think that changes it too much. Like you said, a completely different game. I do think the go first thing, I hate the die roll in Edison right now. I do not like it. It's brain dead. It's not something you think about. It's not even something you build about. At least in modern formats, like I don't care for Yu-Gi-Oh! modern format at all, except that they have some things about them that are just part of the game that I do like. One of them is building for going second or building your deck to go first. I like that that's a thing that you can do and people take advantage and they win entire YCSs because they built their deck a certain way. We don't have that in Edison at all. Everyone's deck is just built to go first. You might have some cards that are good going second, like Soul Exchange. Like I play one Soul Exchange and Hero Frogs, right? It's not good going right. first. But... I'm coping playing that one solo exchange in Hero Frogs. You could cut that card. Most people do cut that card and it's fine, right? But if the die roll became different where who goes first doesn't draw, then I could build my frog deck to go second and play more soul exchanges exactly, and lean, yeah. lean into going second and choose to actually go second, and which will be good because my opponents will probably want to go first because people just know going first and Yu-Gi-Oh is broken and in every card game it is actually. So like, yeah, that I like that part of it, but I don't like the erratas at all. We already use modern time rules. So that's something that we're already like the format's already kind of a Frankenstein. Um, yeah, I, I the ignition priority. I'm indifferent. I don't know. How do you feel about priority? I like it because it kind of makes an extra layer of skill kind of, I feel like. Yeah, it's an option, and, right? yeah exactly. It's an extra option that you normally want to have, which just makes more, you know, more options equals more skill normally. Um, so I like it. I mean, OCG never had it at all. So I guess it's what? fine to get rid of. Am I making that up? I, I could have sworn that. OCG never had that. I could have sworn that was a they thing. They never had priority, bro? On ignition I'm, effects? I thought that's how it... If I'm making that up, I, no, I'm so No, I mean, sorry, we could, we could I fact check after this. You guys let us know in the comments. Uh, you, obviously, somebody's going to tell us. I'm sure somebody's an uh, OCG expert out there, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that priority was a, a, was a made-up thing for the TCG only and not the OCG. I had no idea. Dude, I could have sworn that was a thing. At least back when I was a kid, that's what I heard. Okay, well, maybe you're right, but either way... I'm a little indifferent about priority, but then you, I think you just won me over by saying that it adds a layer of skill because that's the same argument I'm using for why the die roll should change to if you go first, you don't draw because it would add, it would add a choice, which is a layer of skill at that point. And also yeah. deck building skill too would change because again, you could build your deck to go second on purpose and that's great. And then some people build their deck to go first and you know, there's, there's like a lot that goes, yeah. deck building just changes when you know the die roll is a decision as opposed to right now is, is if I want a die roll on Edison. I'm going first. And if my opponent wins, I know I'm going second every time. It, I've never, ever gone first when my opponent won a die roll, unless they were playing friendlies and they're like, I already beat you one set. You go first this time. Yeah, the more I think about priority, the more I think I like it because traps just be are even more broken than without priority, like Compulse and Raigeki Break and whatnot. Sure, even more broken. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Raigeki Break yeah. is really, really, Wait. really strong without priority. If tomorrow someone said, hey, Edison, you don't, go, you don't draw going first anymore, would you be going first still? If I'm giving you my honest answer, because I'm a frog player, I would say no. I'm I think I'm going second like every deck. Yeah, see, I don't know if it's that severe. It could be, though. And then that's if that were to happen, I don't necessarily think it would. But if that were to happen, then that's a that's a that's just a new problem. You're just trading one problem for a new one. I mean, the benefit of going second isn't as strong as the benefit of going first right now. So it's like like right now, like what? It's like almost 60-40 going first, right? Just winning the die roll. Yeah, winning the die I roll, you like are 60% likely to win the game. Yeah. Yeah, according to War League stats, at least. But like going second, I don't feel like it wouldn't be. Obviously, it wouldn't be as high as sixty. I, hope I think it'd be not. higher than fifty fifty. But yeah, no, there's no way. Obviously, yeah, there's no I, way. I would hope yeah. that you getting one plus one for going second would not mean that you literally sixty percent win the game because that's that's just trading one problem for another one. I don't. I'm hoping that it would be that severe. We don't know until we play it, and I do have a tournament coming up that's like a free tournament 
$200 prize pool in the I'm Their Podcast Discord server that is going to be advanced edition format. So we can kind of get a glimpse of it and I'll be doing a live stream and commentary for it. It'll be in September. I orig Originally, I was going to have it be September 14th, but I think I'm actually going to push it to the end of September, the last weekend of September, because there's a Philly regional that weekend and there's like other stuff going on. So I might actually push that tournament back. I'll make an announcement in my Discord server, but yeah, either way, yeah, we can see, we can all see what it looks like, right? If people play in my tournament, it's free to play in for everyone in our Discord. Um, so people do play for the 200 bucks we can get some actual some data because right yeah. now all of us are just speculating the entire community is speculating on if it's a good thing if it's a bad thing i want to frankenstein it personally this is what i've been mm. kind of gearing up to say this whole time i like parts of it and i hate other parts of it i i want to see how some of these things work out but i know how konami is it's a all that's an all or nothing company so we're probably just going to get all of it you know like if they ever do yeah. it oh you want to make your own edison format you want to make Frazier mm, edison that format it's just like so if we're talking about advanced Edison, again, I think the errata thing is too much. I yes. think that that is so... Bro, I don't like that if I look at my cards now, they won't even do what they say because I have a lot of old school cards in my deck. I have like ulti of a lot of the cards. Like Treeborn Frog, for example, is errated. It actually says once per turn on the uh oh yeah you can like econ bring back tree worm again right well i don't know because it's a new tree worm when it goes to the grave but for example if you oppression oh. my tree born frog i can't activate it again <laughs> so oppression becomes <laughs> it becomes insane but this this trip this this effect trickles down to a lot of stuff though so while you could point out one card gets better a million other cards gets worse and a bunch of other cards get better and it's like there's a lot of the, there's so many effects there's a butterfly effect happening yeah. with every little <laughs> thing the power level of Edison's already so low. Do we really need to make it even lower? Like I, I don't know. Deck's already so inconsistent. Like that's half the beauty of Edison. That I don't know if the power level gets. gets I don't know if it gets lower though. I, don't, I feel like so, well, for some of the decks, sure, right? But then some of the decks just get boosted. Like monarchs are broken. They're all trigger effects. They don't care about priority, right? So all the things that have priority lose out. JD is terrible. Rage if summon JD against my dupe block. I regeki break it. You don't have priority. Regeki break becomes a god card. Gemini spark becomes an insane card. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, regeki break is a god so card. So power level. When we talk about power level, I think the power level is subjective, and I don't think that it's easy to just say. The decks get weaker. I think that some of them just get way stronger. You're like, holy shit, I, this, I didn't think about that. It's because right. I'm not faulting you. We just haven't yeah, played yeah, it yeah. enough to think about it. A lot of these interactions I'm saying, I've only heard because I see so many people talk about it in my server. So I'm I'm kind of parroting what I'm hearing. And also some of it is obviously my own personal thoughts, but like some of the stuff I didn't even know. Like the whole brain control thing, I had no idea that brain control got an errata. That made yeah, it really easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah, Amaryll Amaryllis becomes so much worse because Titanials doesn't negate Raikou. Raikou anymore. Yeah, yeah. Raikou doesn't target, so Titanium. But then, like, also, Raikou doesn't make anything mistiming anymore because it's simultaneous and modern. Right. So, Dimensional Alchemist and Dupe Blocks, they actually will get a card, which does come up. My Dupe Blocks get broken by uh, Raikou Kaya's combo all the time. Oh, and in modern, if you crow something, like if you like if Danny goes to grave and you crow it, it doesn't get effect anymore, right? I think you're right about that. So if you go one for one dandy, if I go chain crow, because you paid the call, so Danny's in the graveyard immediately when you activate one for one, I'm pretty sure Dandy doesn't even activate. Correct us if like, we're wrong because no, we don't play modern, but if that's the yeah. way it works, I think that I think that's the way it works. Oh, oh there's so many crazy things. The other one, Seagox. Simultaneous effects go on chain. You get to actually order your oh, chain you pay, links. Right? Yeah. You get to order your chain links in modern. So, for example, if you don't know what we're talking about, if I have a goblin zombie on the field and I go tribute goblin zombie for Caius, in Edison format right now, goblin zombie always has to be chain link one. Always. And Caius always has to be chain link two in that scenario. In modern format, the way the rules work is you can actually make Caius chain link one and goblin zombie chain link two, which means they can't pull in a rug you. And yeah, it, it comes up for a lot of different things. But for example, you can't pulling the rug that interaction yeah i wish that was an edison that's a cool one because that's just more that's just straight up more skill yeah yep blatantly same thing with absolute zero tribute absolute zero for a monarch i can make kaya's chain link one absolute zero chain link two so that way you can't again you can't pull in the rug and i wipe your whole field down um or i could do absolute zero chain well the way it works in edison right now is that absolute zero will always right. be chain link one which is good for stardust because like stardust can negate an absolute zero if it's chain link one and kaya's chain link two but like sometimes i want to do it the other way because i know you have pulling the rug or i want right. to play around pulling the rug so there's a lot Seagox is a big change too. I forgot about that one, but that's also really big. So yeah, it just I like sounds, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the technical aspect, it, basically everything except the Aretta, I guess. Now I'm thinking about it more and more. I'm pretty much okay with. Yeah, like I don't. I think 
I don't think anything is as drastic as the errata. The errata thing just changes the entire... We're playing, a, like like you said in the very beginning, we're just playing a different game at that point if you errata all the cards. They are so different. Goyo Guardian never being summoned again is crazy. I'm going to be so sad for my ulti copies. I have so many cards that, like, they might not be playable anymore, and that sucks too, but I'm not really worried about my own personal collection or whatever but just like that will affect the market though right like it just will so mm. anyways that is our time on this topic what do you guys think about advanced format i know or advanced edison format i know that some of you are really against it some people actually were for it but a lot of people were super just not for it at all they feel like if you play retro formats you play them because you want to play it exactly the way it was. And I totally get you guys, and I'm not against you at all. I actually see it from both sides. I see it from both sides because I do enjoy Edison the way it is right now. But I also am not a person that believes that Edison is perfect. And if it could be better, I'm for it being better overall, if it's possible to make it better. So we'll see. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.